G'day guys, Glenn VK4NGA. If you've got a jumbo spot or uh, one of my Jura spots or any of these little Pi Zero based hotspots, um, such as the, uh, the Jura spot at the back there, any of these small hotspots, then you probably got it on Wi Fi, which is fine. But the issue that you might have is when you come to configure it, when you come to the configuration page, on that. When you come down to the Wi-Fi section, if you want to reconfigure the Wi-Fi, say you want to add a Wi-Fi to it or you want to uh, change the order of the Wi-Fi settings, so you want to put your phone on there and you want to put your phone in position one, that presents a bit of a problem. You've got to be pretty skillful to stay linked to Wi-Fi while you do all those changes. So here's another way to do it. The camera there. Let's zoom out a bit. One of these. Ethernet adapter. So it's micro USB here, and right here is an RJ45. So we just let's completely plug and play these. These are about ten dollars online. We'll just power the hotspot down. <clears throat> Plug this into the second USB port. Power the hotspot up. And we'll be back online in a minute. So, this um, circumvents a fair few problems because it puts you um, in complete command of the hotspot as far as Wi Fi, as far as internet goes, because you're not on Wi Fi anymore. Um, this is completely plug and play, so this will uh, override. The, um, the Wi-Fi settings in here, not override them, but it'll take place of the Wi-Fi settings, so it'll take over the connection and um, it'll come up as Ethernet 0 in the um, in the settings here, so if we watch that closely <coughs> you'll see there it says ETH0 and it's got the IP address so straight away as soon as the hotspot starts up you just watch the screen and you'll have your IP address there so we um, go into the um, to configuration of that there so we go in here and we'll zoom that out a bit and we can go into the configuration for the Wi-Fi here oh, got a, Refresh it. So it'll still show the Wi Fi settings that were last used, but if I want to come in and um, configure the Wi Fi and say add a network, you can see I've got my phone in there. This is my portable hotspot, so I'll take this one mobile. So it's got my phone in there first and it's got my home Wi-Fi in there second. So if you want to add a network, just come in, put all your details in or if you want to scan for networks. Let's wait and see that scan result, but that should uh, just scan up fine. So it puts you in complete command of the uh, hotspot because what will happen is, see it's showing my other Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz connections there, it'll put you in complete command of the hotspot in terms of the internet connection. And um, this is so good at plug and play that you can just unplug it even on the fly, although it's probably not the best way to do it. But um, you can just uh, power the hotspot down and then unplug it. And uh, it'll, um, it'll just uh, revert back to Wi Fi. So well, let's have another look at it. So it's, yeah, I'll see it first. There it is there. These are just cheap Chinese units with the um, micro USB connector there. Now something I need to warn you about is if you buy one of these, these are these are ten dollars and under for a reason because these are clones of the Realtek uh, adapter. So they are, they're the clones of the genuine Realtek. When I say clones they have the same MAC address. So if you bought three of those, they all have the same MAC address. 
So the problem is if you run more than one of these on your network, it'll just throw your network into your home network into chaos. So just remember that. One of these on the network is fine, but more than one of these on the network is definitely a no-no. I found out the hard way. Okay, so that's the best way to um, to play with your hotspot in terms of settings. Just um, plug it in and uh, fire your hotspot up and away you go. So, um, and once it's been plugged in, you can see here we'll just power the hotspot up and just wait a minute and uh, it'll boot up on Wi-Fi again. So, fantastic um, little gadget. I use them when I'm building hotspots because I can put in uh, everybody's details, uh, Wi-Fi details, the customer's Wi-Fi details, all that sort of thing. And then um, when I'm finished, I'll just unplug it and uh, it's just like I was never there. So I'll just wait for this to boot up. And it should be back on Wi-Fi and I'll come up with a different IP address. We'll have a look at that. Let's zoom the camera in a bit. And there it just says WLAN 0192.168.0.121. So different um, different uh, IP address. I do recommend that you use IP addresses to access your hotspots, not pystar.local or any of that. Just uh, it's a bit of a headache doing uh, doing things that way. So there you go, guys. Uh, a great way to um, to organise yourself in terms of. Um, changing configuration on the hotspot especially with Wi-Fi settings you can just plug this in it overrides the whole system and it gives you full access to the Wi-Fi you can play around with it you can reorder the Wi-Fi and you won't lose connection while you're doing it and then when you're finished you can uh, unplug it and test it like I have today. Alright thanks for watching 73 this is VK4NGA